Well, friends, I didn't think I'd ever be at this point, but let's be honest here. It's been four years since I've moved from Ontario to Quebec with the hope of getting this car back on the road. It hasn't happened. In fact, I haven't done anything to it. I put a battery in it and washed it a couple times. But the original plan was to do all this new car stuff to help get this back on the road. It just hasn't worked out. So this is not clickbait. This is not a sad sob story. This is just a fact. The E38 is for sale. And there's two reasons why I'm doing a video on it. Number one is because I know an, a huge number of you subscribers have only subscribed to the channel for E38 content, despite the fact that I haven't done anything with this car. And I have produced, what, like 300 videos in the past couple years on new cars. You guys are still here because of this. So I wanted to let you know what's going on. But I also wanted to do a video because I'm sure there is somebody in the E38 community, somebody who's going to be watching this video, who might be interested in buying this car. Because I do want it to go to a good home. I know there are a lot of people out there who can afford to put this back on the road and give it the life it deserves. And for me to continue to hold on to it, for it to sit in this garage, to be covered in dust, you can see here, there is a nice thick layer of it. It's irresponsible of me. So I want it to go to a home that will appreciate it. Now, if you haven't watched any of these videos before or you just need a refresher, I'll kind of go over some of what this car has, some of the reasons why you might be interested in it, and obviously the problem. So this is a 2001 740 IL, it's the long wheelbase sold here in Canada. It has the 4.4 liter V8 engine with Vanos and all of the fun bits. Came on the final production year for the E38. Has a regular automatic transmission on here. I haven't done any swaps, any part swaps or anything like that. And the interior, sand beige with a lot of the upgraded trim bits on it. Didn't have the sport package, but we did have the chrome line interior. And I have added some of the V12 interior bits, like the wood trim panels on the C-pillar lights and above the light uh, console in the center, kind of where your home link is. So a couple bits there, plus the B-pillars. I put the wood and leather trim on there. So a couple upgrades on that. You know, it's got front heated seats, rear heated outboard seats, a heated steering wheel. Interior is in pretty good shape for about, what is it, 283,000 kilometers now. Uh, what else? We got the black paint on here. Be Cosmos black paint with the sand beige interior. Uh, front and rear parking sensors, upgraded widescreen navigation on this, came from the factory. We have the M parallel rims. You'll also be getting this set of Goodyear tires. They're 255 45 R18s, and I believe the back ones are a little bit bigger too. There uh, should be a staggered set. These are brand new. They're ready to mount, or maybe a 255s for the back, and I think it's like 235s for the front. So those are brand new. Goodyear sent them to us uh, with the intention of me doing stuff with the car. So uh, it's probably the second time now that we've mentioned it. So I do want to give a big thanks to Goodyear for sending us the tires and, and sponsoring the show. Uh, so you can get that with the car, put them on the rim so you've got brand new tires and you're good to go. I did the front brakes like four, four and a half years ago. So they're pretty new. The rear ones need to be done. The gas tank has been the problem. It's leaking. So you do need to find a replacement gas tank to uh, pass any safeties. And this car was also plated in Ontario. So if you're a local Quebec buyer, you're going to have a tr bit of a trouble to get it plated. You'll have to do a full safety inspection on it if you get everything else working. The last video that we did, the car did not start. We weren't entirely sure. It could be the fuel pump. It could be the fact that there really isn't any gas, but uh, we don't really know for sure. The battery itself is new from a few years ago, and I've disconnected it. So you'll have to charge it up, but the battery itself should be still in good shape. Um, and aside from that, I mean, the, the only other issues that I can think of that I had with this when I was driving it, the coolant sensor level warning will come on. It's just the actual sensor that's not working. The coolant is fine on it. And I think that's about it. You know, obviously this is the condition that it's in, right? It's been sitting here for years. It's been propped up with the intention of getting it worked on. So it really is a situation of bring your own trailer and also, you know, you're more than welcome to take a look at it if you do have serious interest, you want to buy it. But the idea is to get rid of it, right? I know it's sad and I know a lot of you will have some comments about it, but like, let's be honest here. I haven't done anything with it. So let's get it to a home that deserves it. 
So if there is somebody out there who wants this car, you can email me directly, nile at perpetualradio.ca. I will reply to your emails. Uh, don't, don't waste your time telling me not to sell it. It's not happening. But if you want to buy it or you have somebody who you think might be interested, either send them the video, the link to the listing, uh, the different places that I'll have it listed will be available in the description as well. But uh, send me an email if you're interested. You can come out and take a look at it, but I would like it to go to a good home and I won't refuse any reasonable offer. The idea is to find somebody who will take care of this. So if you are uh, gonna offer something reasonable, then we can make something happen. So take a look back at some of the videos that we've done if you wanna know a little bit more about it, but uh, you know, it really is just for parts at this point. There isn't a whole lot else to say about it. So uh, send your emails uh, and that's about it. I, I hope uh, you guys can understand where I am at this and you can understand the reasoning behind it. And I do understand too that uh, I'm probably going to lose a lot of subscribers because of this. Because you know you guys have been holding out, waiting for more content on this. But who am I kidding, right? So anyway, buy my E38, get it out of my garage, and let's get it on the road again to somebody who deserves it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.